Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to my Minecraft world. Hopefully you guys are having a really good day today. I know I am guys. I, I may not sound like it, but I'm having a pretty good day today, right? It's Sunday. I'm getting ready for this next week and uh, yeah, things are going good, man. A couple things I need to talk about today in today's episode to let you guys know what's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks and then also some plans for projects and different things uh, like that. So. First and foremost, you probably sound, you probably can hear that I sound sick. Now, the cough that I've had the last couple of weeks just will not go away, and it seems to have progressed into like a head cold now, so it's in my nose and in my face, and it sucks. I hate it, but uh, there's not much I can do about it. I've been taking medicine and all kinds of other stuff, but I just cannot shake it. It just will not go away, and it's driving me crazy. Um, this, yeah, this will work. This is what we want to do. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll be getting better soon and I won't sound so nasally and grungy. That yeah, I feel like my voice is just really scratchy. Like every now and then, like especially like after I record for a little while, my voice gets like really rough and like it gets really like scratchy sounding and it's just really kind of gross and I hate it. Um, so hopefully that'll go away soon and we can get back to normal. But um, the other thing is I wanted to let you guys know that videos will probably be kind of few and far between for the next couple of weeks unfortunately I am moving and I say unfortunately it's fortunately I am moving because I have a place to live that's always nice but um, yeah we're moving into a new apartment in a couple of weeks and the way it's set up is like the end of March is supposed to be the end of our lease right so when you move into an apartment you go and you get internet and cable and you know whatever the bills you got electricity and phone and I don't know anybody who still pays a phone bill besides a cell phone bill but you get the point right um, so our contract with our internet was only up for a year from March 2014 to March 2015 now I'm going to see if it's possible if I can renew my internet for just like one month if I can just get it for a couple of weeks actually uh, because I don't want to have to pay for a whole month of uh, internet and uh, television because it ends up being like hundred and thirty dollars now that I'm off of the promotional contract um, now that's just that's way too much money to just have internet for you know a couple of extra days while we're getting ready to move so just depending on how things go I have been working this weekend it's Sunday right now um, I've been working this weekend to get a bunch of stuff recorded and prepared for my move that way when I am moving I can have at least some videos out during that time um, now I don't think I'm gonna have enough footage I just haven't had the time to record I can only record for so long um, during the week, especially since I'm sick, my voice goes in and out, and um, it just doesn't make for good recordings. But I'm hoping that I've got at least enough to carry over, and I'm hoping that you guys will be understanding about the whole thing, and I'm sure you guys will because you guys are awesome um, about me moving. So it, it might be kind of slow on my channel yet again. It's, it's just, I feel like the last couple of months have just been pretty bad for my channel. Um, and I'm hoping things improve. I think things are going to improve greatly once I get into my new apartment. Because um, the problem is right now, I have time during the week to record. Well, technically, I have time in during the week to record. I try to get all my recording done on the weekends, right? Um, or every other weekend. That's because my girlfriend is at work and I don't have to bother her with all my recording stuff. Now, the problem is is she doesn't care she doesn't care if I do my video stuff or whatever around and anything like that and it's uh, and I don't care either but the times that I want to record the times that I feel like I'm most like active is late at night okay and when she is off work she is pretty much sleeping because she works long shifts and uh, she's asleep like 10 feet away from me okay so the thing is, is I don't like recording because I don't like waking her up doing my recordings and different things like that. Because I mean, literally, she when she's asleep, she's like five, ten feet away from me, um, and it just it makes things difficult. It makes things difficult for recording, and you know, I don't want to have to keep waking her up and different things like that. So I just don't want to be a nuisance, pretty much. Um, now, but when we go into the new apartment, I lose my office, unfortunately, but. 
um, where my setup is going to be is going to be much further away from the bedroom. So during the week when she is asleep and I have time to record or I feel like recording, I will be able to, which uh, is going to be much better. It's going to be much nicer for everybody involved, and I won't have to worry about keep waking her up constantly and uh, doing everything like that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be nicer once I move. I think the things on the channel will pick back up, but we'll just kind of have to wait and see, see how things pan out, and uh, I think everything should be good to go. But, um, yeah, so things might be a little slow for the next couple of weeks while I move. We don't actually move until the middle of April. But, like I said, my internet and stuff goes up at the end of this month. Um, or actually, it goes up in just a couple of days. So, I think like the 27th or 28th. So, that could potentially cause a problem. And we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see what happens. And if it's not too expensive, then I will definitely. Um, definitely try to do my best to keep the internet up that way I can keep the videos coming and plus if we don't have internet I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna go crazy because we won't have Netflix we won't have TV I don't know I don't know what we'll do it'd be kind of crazy um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the moving situation now I want to talk about some of the projects that I'll probably if I don't have internet and I don't have TV, then I'm ended up playing a lot of single player stuff, right? So I'm going to be working a lot here in my Minecraft world, and I wanted to let you guys know what's going to be happening, what to expect, and a couple of different things. And we are in the newest version of Minecraft, by the way. I tried to keep it on to the, um, the 1.8 version I had with the Forge and Optifine, but it's just, it wasn't working for the mob stuff. Um, so I've got everything back. I'm going to be one of the projects I'm going to be working on is recreating our farms over here, collecting all the mobs and different things uh, for us to use. Different cows and sheep and all that kind of stuff. So we got all our our farms and stuff back over here. I think it'd be nice. Um, and then I'm also going to be working on the guardian farm, like I talked about last episode. Doing the um, oh wait, that was spruce wood. I want dark oak wood. There we go. Um, making it a drop spawner where they actually fall to the death instead of falling into the cactus like we got it set up right now um, so I'm gonna be working on that so we're just basically gonna be digging a giant hole to where they fall down to their deaths <laughs> instead of uh now can we do this yeah let's do this right here that'll work do we want it two or four I feel like I don't know maybe two is not bad let's do it like this we'll see um, but yeah, so that's one of the things I'm going to be doing is making it a drop spawner for the Guardian farm. And then I'm also going to start working on the Wither Skeleton farm in the Nether. Now, that's going to take a little bit, and I figure that's probably going to be the one that I focus on the most. Um, there's going to be a lot involved with that one, though. There's a lot of land and stuff. We've got that fortress right outside, and uh, it's the perfect spot, I think, for a Wither Skeleton farm. It's actually pretty good. There's a lot of lava underneath, and there's not a lot of stuff above it, so we don't have to really slab too many caves or anything like that, but I'm sure we're going to have to eventually. Um, but that'll probably be the thing, the project that I spend the most time working on while my lack of internet is going on, but we're just going to have to kind of play it by ear and see. So, uh, it's a guardian farm, nether skeleton farm. What else? Let's do... Can we do it like that? That doesn't look awful. Oh, let's get rid of this for you guys. Sorry. I pull that up and I always forget it's there. I'm so used to playing with it. Um, that sounded kind of wrong. <laughs> let's make some fences real quick. Um, so we'll get this out of there. Actually, I always forget the recipe for fences. Isn't it like this? Whoop. There we go. Let's take this. And we'll put it right there, right there. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Give me this back. Uh, like that. What does that look like? Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't look awful, but what if we just tried with the logs coming up? I think that's probably what we're going to have to do. Where are... Right here. We'll come up. What, two? Two? Yeah, I think that looks better. If we get rid of this, what does that look like? That looks kind of... No, that doesn't look bad either. I like it. Um, oops, I think we'll go with that. So I'll just mimic that on the other side as well. 
maybe. Maybe we could have some sort of little hut or something right here in the middle. But, um, yeah, let's see if I'm missing anything else that I wanted to let you guys know about. I wanted to talk about a bunch of stuff today and just let you guys know what's going to be happening. You can probably hear it in my voice. It already sounds different from when I first started because it was rested before we started. Let me take a sip of my coffee, see if it helps. Is that helping? Maybe a little bit? I don't know. Um, everything's so slow to load in now that I don't have Optifine. That's crazy. It loads in so much faster with Optifine. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, I want to let you guys know too. Sadly, with my Minecraft world with mods, it is... Well, I say sadly. It's... Something happened and I lost the world, okay? I was updating some mods and stuff like that. And I think I moved the instance that I had somewhere and I lost the world that I had. Now, the upside to that is that the Hypermine modded server just restarted, okay? And I don't want to have like two modded series, like two separate modded series going really. I mean, that, like I could do it, but I just really don't want to if I don't have to. So what I think we're going to do is we're actually going to move my Minecraft world with mods over to the Hypermind server. Now, I may not call it that. I may not call it my Minecraft world with mods, but it's going to be the same premise. So it may just be like the Hypermind server, um, the modded Hypermind server, because we're playing on the Resident Rise 3 pack, which is a pack that I wanted to play for my Minecraft world with mods, but um, at the time it just didn't seem like the best fit. So we ended up going with the Direwolf 20 pack. And the Dire Will 20 pack was giving me a lot of issues, and I, that's what happened, is I was trying to fix some of those issues, and I moved the instance, or accidentally deleted it or something, but now I can't find the world that I had originally, so, um, not a whole lot I can do, but with Hypermine, what I would like to do is kind of keep the same premise, like, get you guys really involved and active in what's going on in the series, so that means like leaving requests and different things like that and uh, just kind of playing with some of the mods that way stuff that you guys want to see and that will make it interesting for you guys to watch so um, I will talk about that more in the next episode of Hypermind which should be sometime this week I think maybe Tuesday or Wednesday I'm gonna try to get a bunch of that recorded for you guys um, because I'm having a lot of fun we reset last night I was on there for a couple hours and it was a lot of fun I love it um, it's really cool too because whoop Everybody's hanging out, man. It's a it's a really nice thing. I haven't seen that many people involved in the server in a long time, so it's it's been fun, and I'm really excited. I just like I want to get back over there, and I want to play, and I want to record, and have some good times. But I want you guys to be interested in it too, because mod sauce kind of fell off there at the end. It wasn't very, it wasn't exactly the greatest modded series ever, or the modded pack to do an LP in. There was a lot of stuff, but it got really laggy there at the end, and. Uh, it just it wasn't a whole lot of fun but um yeah so we'll just kind of see how things roll how things go and uh, we'll kind of go from there but just keep an eye out for it go show it some love if you like the my, my minecraft world vanilla i think you'll really like the hyper mind stuff too because like i said it's going to be the same premise you guys leave requests we build it in there um and we're just going to kind of have to keep the same mentality that we had with my minecraft world with mods because it seemed like you guys really enjoyed that but instead of just playing in a single player world, we're going to be playing on a server, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. More fun for me, anyway. Uh, because we've already got a single player world with a lot of stuff happening. And uh, it's fun every now and then to go play on a server and hang out with folks. So that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Keep an eye out for the Hypermind stuff, man. Go check it out when that comes out. Show it some love. Show it some support. Um, because I'm having a blast with it, and I think you guys would really, really enjoy it as well. And, uh, yeah, leave requests, man. If you got ideas, leave them now for me to start working on some, like, big project ideas. Big ones. Big ones. Um, we got the castle already. Got the farms. I'm working on those. Like, we need something else, man. So give me something else to work on while I don't have internet. <laughs> uh, because if not, I'm gonna go crazy. I need ideas and help. I need support. I'm like an addict. Um, feed me, pretty much, is what I'm saying. Give me ideas. Something I can work on with, uh, without internet. So... Yeah, uh, hopefully you guys will understand for the next couple weeks if the videos are slow. I'm going to try my hardest to get as much out as I can, but there's only so much time I have left, and I don't know how soon I'll be able to get it all done. So hopefully it won't be that bad, but just keep an eye out. Hang out when the videos come. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, so hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys whenever I see you. 
for the next episode of my Minecraft world. So, yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. I'll see you guys later, alright? Thanks for watching. Peace!